Hello, everybody. This is Rose Villain. Catch me on the Growing Up Italian podcast. What's up, everybody? This is the Growing Up Italian Podcast. Today we have a special guest, Rose Villain. Hey, everybody. All the way from Italy, but not really all the way from not, Italy. Not really, yeah. Because you're a New York resident. And I'm a kind of a New Yorker, too. Ooh, you claim the New York card. <laughs> well, after 10 years, supposedly you, you become a New Yorker. That's you know? so amazing that you said that because I was talking to somebody outside the other day, and they're like, oh, I lived in New York 10 years, so I'm a New Yorker now. I'm like, okay, 10 years, you could officially say that you're a New Yorker. For, <laughs> For me. Okay, right? It's right. 11. If you survive more ten than years, 10 yeah, years, yeah. like, you can call yourself that. What does somebody need to do to be considered Italian, though? Because me, right, all the stuff I do, sometimes people say I'm not Italian still. Oh, well, do you love your family? Of course. Are you, like, family guy? Yes. You love, I would like to You love so. food? <laughs> what do you, do what you, do you think? Do you, for, I'm, for example, I'm not much into sports, but that would be like an Italian, very Italian thing. But I feel like family and like food. Calcio, like football. Yeah, mm, but family and food. Family and food. So if you like family and food, you're Italian. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love food that's more, a, more than that's anything. That's a good <laughs> benchmark <laughs> oh, yeah. to start with. Tell, talk to us a little bit about your journey because you're born in Milan, mm -hmm. but you live in New York. Yeah. <laughs> but you spend a lot of time in Milan still. Yeah. So how did that all happen? Like, what made you say, I want to try New York, I want to live in New York? Well, so the, the thing that I was most drawn to is definitely music. I love mm -hmm. uh, international music, American music. So mm -hmm. I studied here actually in Los Angeles. I moved to oh, LA okay. first and I did um, contemporary of the uh, music contemporary conservatory. Mm -hmm. And I st so I started studying music here and then I started to live the American life and especially when I came to New York because I actually studied even more here I did like Broadway set like musical theater which is really not my thing but mm -hmm. it's a really good tech technique uh mm -hmm. thing so um and while I when I arrived to New York I was like this is where I fit in. Like mm -hmm. I always felt I didn't really belong to Milan or really? yeah. I was when I was just in Milan recently, I feel like Milan and New York are so similar. Like they're probably the most similar European countries. Yeah, it's true. No, I, I that's why I felt I feel more close to home here than I was in. I didn't really like LA. Mm -hmm. And but how I, long were you out there for? Two years. Two years. Okay. Too much. Well, two years. Too <laughs> yeah, much. Too much. <laughs> but I feel that I, Italians, we in like the, the in Italy. We are really too close and too clingy to our traditions. I feel, mm -hmm. while here you can be Italian, but you could step open, out of it. You can You're be open to the diversities and uh, new things. And while in Italy we are really scared of like, mm, we're pretty close there. Not bigots because now we're like in modern eras. But I don't like that. I need. Even for the arts, I feel here there's like an openness, like you could do whatever you want and like there's opportunities for you. While in Italy, still we're mm -hmm. trying to... Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's do you think moving to New York helped you with your career? Oh, mm, well, for sure. Because to, to live in New York, I feel you have to be an ambitious freak. Mm -hmm. And that make, made me an ambitious freak. So everything I do from music videos to writing songs, I do it with such uh, uh, s research for quality and to be like over the lines. I dare, like I'm not afraid of like uh, failing because in New York you fail every day. Every day, yeah, you get right <laughs> and, back up. Uh, so it gave me the, the New York tough, I definitely feel it. And yeah, the New York then, grind. Yeah. What made you, okay, so growing up in Milan, mm -hmm. right, how was that as a kid growing up and how did you find your incredible talent of singing? Was it Thank something you. you discovered at a young age at like well, in school I, first? Yeah. Music has always been the main focus of my life. Like since I was like a, like a born or newborn, mm -hmm. like music was always the thing that made me like, like light up. 
And I, but I, I didn't know I had a voice, so my only way to communicate through that was with dancing. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of years of dancing, and one day I was just humming. Actually, no, I was in a dance class. Actually, I thank my dancing teacher because he kicked me out because I was lip syncing to a song while I was doing the choreography. Oh, really? <laughs> and he was like, if you want to be a singer, just go be a singer. And I'm like, fuck I'll that, do I'll that. do that. <laughs> and, but, and something really clicked when I saw Baby One More Time on MTV, the what? video. What, Britney Spears? Britney Spears. When I saw that music video, I was like, I want that. So that's like your first real... Yeah. Inspiration to sing. Yeah. And the dancing and the singing and the the superstar thing that she had and like... S super viral before viral. Exactly. <laughs> like on uh, the music videos. I love music videos. It, I would never watch cartoons. I only watch music videos. Me that's too. my thing. <laughs> <laughs> do I not? When I'm home, that's all I do. I just watch music videos, music it's videos, music videos. And 90s music videos... Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. Even like The Offspring. I, I'm, I'm a big rock girl oh, yeah? too. Yeah. Would you, who do you think's better? Backstreet Boys or NSYNC? Backstreet Boys. Oh, so she's smart. Yeah. No, because <laughs> a lot of people say NSYNC and I'm like, how could you even no. compare I mean, the two? They, they were like a ripoff. Yeah, they were made from that. <laughs> That's, you know what um, I thought was hilarious? I was watching on your Instagram and this year so many people dressed up as you crazy that's actually a dream come true that, really. that's sick. <laughs> there was just one girl that literally the same position oh, in, the yeah, car. in the car amazing i mean actually like if they dress up as you you made something good in your life like halloween also is like my favorite moment of the year like i feel like for me halloween is like 365 honestly yeah I, yeah i love they all like dark vibes skeletons yeah. and spiders. a lot of people say halloween is who you are every day Oh, yeah. Like, Halloween is people, that's the real, like, the one day that they really are who they're supposed to be. True. When, when you put on a mask, that's when you really are yourself. I really believe that yeah. thing. Like, that's how you could express yourself. Yeah. And I was actually talking to someone the other day, and they told me that they would give up every single holiday in the world. So, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, Easter, everything, just for that one day of Halloween. Oh, are you that? Are you that um, invested? I'll, I would say yes, uh, but I can because Christmas uh, is like the moment of the year. Like I'm like dark all year, and but when first December hits, uh, I I become so you're like basically like a Mariah Carey. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like in, that once a year bag. Do you see oh, the yeah. video of I, Mariah? Yeah, oh yes, I saw it. <laughs> I was cracking up with that. She's she wait, how much okay. So you do love Christmas every oh yeah Christmas it's but because I some does something to my um, to to me like I become really sensitive and cute. Uh, do you go to Italy for Christmas? Of course, because yeah. that's where all their family is. Mm -mm. So tell us a little bit about what your schedule is like because when I saw you in Napoli, yeah, she's like when well, you saw me, you're like I miss New York. Oh yeah, because. I think you were there for a couple of months at that point, yeah, right? Yeah, and also now I'm like leaving again for like a month more yeah. in Milan. Yeah, because I I started my singing career in English. I was signed here to Republic. In yeah. LA? No, here in New York. Oh, New York, Republic okay. Republic Records. Is yeah, like the, okay. Yeah, and it's universal. But, um, and so I started, I like write, wrote so many songs in English and I thought that was my path. But then Gue arrived and i had this song called chico yes of course <laughs> feet with luke as a feature too right yeah and, and this uh, gentleman producer if i'm not mistaken 6 p.m yeah yes. we'll talk a little bit about him yeah, in a yeah, second yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so that's like um i don't want to say your first big feature but no mm, was well it? i did salmo before yeah that. exactly i, I saw that many, yeah i did and i sang in english in the salmo songs he, he was he was okay with that but well chico was actually my single for Republic in English. It, it, it oh, didn't really? have a feature. It was just me singing Chico. But then Gue really liked it. Like the, the, the hook is no, the no, same the hook? Song. The yeah, whole song. The whole song. It's the same, hook, it's same hook that he took and put in Chico. Yeah. Okay. Same hook, but he told me, why don't you please sing in Italian? Like, what? Like, we're going to, like, it's going to be much more popular if you do. So it was like, okay, let's try and write it in Italian. And I really like how my voice sounds in Italian. So of I was course. like, I mean, I'm Italian. There is like um the market is opening up for me. I have like some followings, and I was like, why not 
writing more songs. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of like it. <laughs> no, I love that. So, I, you know, we're talking about music videos. I love that music video, too. It's like a Scarface oh, vibe yeah, yeah, and with the, the, yeah. the, the gun and everything. So that song went crazy in Italy. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that and was, uh, you and Gue have like a very good chemistry, especially with, with 6 p.m. too, Andy. Totally, totally. Because I've seen Andy like work with Gue and Santorini when he did oh, yeah, his yeah, album. He, yeah. And I know he's like his go-to guy. And that's actually how we met because Gue came here for your wedding. Right. And <laughs> it's funny. I, I want to say this quick story. So before Gue came to your wedding, he stopped by here. I'm like, you want me to cook for you? You know, like I'll make you son. I'm like, bro, they're vegan. I don't know if you're going to eat. He's like, bro, it's a wedding. Of course. The next day I saw him, he's like, bro, all vegan food. I can't believe this. Oh, yeah. But but let me say, it's not, it was not like that we gave salads around. They were, we had burgers, pasta with broccoli, rabe, and sausage. Like it was vegan sausage, yeah. but it was like kick-ass, like impossible meat. Like it mm -hmm. tastes like the real thing. Like I know you're yeah, a yeah. purist, but... <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> tastes like the right, real thing you know? <laughs> but he was actually pretty tasted like the William Vale because when he told me it was there I'm like bro that's the best place in this neighborhood so beautiful the best view everything and I didn't even know they really did weddings there because oh, yeah. you guys had it like on a Monday or Tuesday or something oh, yeah like that. I believe it was a Monday yeah so it's like you know, on the weekends, they're so busy. You can't even walk in the place. I know. No, we had it just for ourselves. So or just the, the, the how higher. was it to have that American wedding? It was incredible. Like, also, because we did, like, three days. We did one, like, all pink night at... Um, mm -hmm. I did see that. The, the day before, right? Yeah, it was a Jimmy's in Soho. Yes. Which is a really cool Manhattan mm -hmm. spot. Yeah. And then the day before, we all went at Cheer, at Songenapole, which is, mm -hmm. like, my favorite yeah. New York pizza. And we all at, like, a real... Because... 6 p.m. is from Naples, so we wanted to have that Neapolitan vibe also. And then the Pink Night was very Milanese style, so we had both. Mm -hmm. And then New York, which is the city that made, we met in New York. So it's I was just going to ask that. We met in New York in a session. It was so crazy. Uh, we had like a friend in common who said, oh, let's, you should do a session with the singer Rose. Mm -hmm. And they told me, Andy. So we were like, we're going to be in a room with an American, like, a, like mm -hmm. the rest of our sessions. And then we were both living in Milan, like from Milan, because he grew up in Milan. And mm -hmm. we le lived a block away from each other. We have all friends in common, and we never met. And New York brought us together. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And this was before... You did the song with Guerra, or this was after? Uh, way, way before. Way before, okay, yeah, I was going to yeah, say, because yeah, no, then no. you before. didn't meet him when you made that song, no, how's that no. possible? So, okay, you met you met him here, and then how many years ago was that? So seven. Just seven years, okay. Seven years. And seven Chico and a half, is yeah. like four or five years? Yeah, no, like three. Okay, so three yeah. years. Okay, so how did we get from, when you met him, was yeah. it instantly like, oh my God, I love him? Or no. was it, how, how did you guys like no, really? No, no, actually, it was a... Uh, it was like we started we really had a connection musically mm -hmm. so that that's i will say i've been in sessions with you guys and i saw andy when ernie was here and he was in a session together oh. he's a great songwriter like amazing he knows how to really put the artist in a direction absolutely to get like what they're trying to say absolutely it's great that's what made me like like attach me to him at first because like mm -hmm. i like i would tell him okay i need to write a song and imagine that I'm like in Cuba uh, on a like coupe car in the rain with mm -hmm. a red dress. And he would put write music that sounded like that. Mm -hmm. And he could translate my like fantasies so much into the music that I was like, okay, I got to marry this guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, baby, you're staying yeah, with me. Yeah, I was like, okay. So <laughs> how, how did this, how was the process? Was it three months or was it instantly? No, no, no. It was actually six months. Now, he, who, who he made the first it. move? He did, of course. He's oh. Italian. <laughs> like, <laughs> He's Italian. Yes. He's like, oh, uh, yeah, no, I'm a that Bella Beats. Yeah. He, he kind, I think he, he instantly liked me and kind of like was kind of, mm, so what are you doing tonight? But I was like, I'm working with this guy like I'm a pro. I it's very like, hard to break the work and business thing. Because well, you're probably saying like, okay, I really want to get this done because I love working with him. And yeah. then, same time and, but with music when, while writing especially while creating art your bar, you know, like your bar barriers barriers mm -hmm. they're so down already mm -hmm. that you're very vulnerable to yeah, each yeah. other you, you you have to be intimate in a way mm -hmm. so when it transformed into something more it was so strong like we we started as music partners and then friends and then it took a while to realize okay 
we want to do this. Let's really do this. So all we in, all in. Madly fall in, fell in love. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's a great. I love hearing stories like that. I mean, especially because you guys are in the same business. It's it's awesome to see. He's and I an s- asshole in the studio with me, though. Much worse than he, he wants. Is. He wants what's best for you. That's why. But with the other, he's <laughs> not as tough as he is. Well, with of me. course, that's like when um. You know, when kids are, like, playing sports, like, no, you got to play better. Oh, yeah, but then yeah. when other kids, you're like, yeah. it's the Definitely. same thing. But he really made me find So Andy's a voice. soccer dad. Oh, yeah, say. totally <laughs> soccer dad. Totally. <laughs> Prendi la palla. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, and then um, the other song with Gwed I love, too, was Piango Sulla oh, Lambo. Yeah. And the video was incredible for that Thanks. one, too. Thank you. And that's another song that Andy produced, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But there is... There is this connection between me and Gwe, and I believe like is is uh, our interest for cinema. I feel mm. that we both like to put cinematic um, aesthetics into our music. Mm. We we both like the same gangster movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, so uh, we he found that in me. Like I love to put like even Chico is like a Scarface yeah. quote, or um, I, I very often put in the music the, the movies, and he. He's like that as well. He has a very cinematic way of writing. Mm-hmm. And so we clicked. Very, we, we, we fit very well. Yeah, I mean, I've hung out with him a lot of times. And <laughs> his stories are so funny. Oh, and yeah. he's a character. He's a, he's a movie character. He's a, he's for a, sure. Yeah. I think someone just said recently in an interview, like, rap is too easy for him. He needs to be an actor. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, someone <laughs> just said that. I forgot where I saw it. But um, over this summer, you also had some other great songs like Michelle Pfeiffer with Tony Effe and that song it was different for you because it wasn't really with Gwen it was your song yeah yeah so it was was like this time it's a different completely role and I really I really like that song and now you have Rari out and the same thing it's your it's your song I'm I'm because I did a lot of featurings and I have still have a lot of featurings coming out and I really love to work with other like rappers and other artists because I feel that is the way, like it's a very modern way of making music because mm-hmm. also here in the US, like if you rarely a song comes out, like like a rap song or with that our collaboration mm-hmm. and like uh, we're uniting forces and I think that's really cool, especially when you mix up two, like for example, me and Tony was a really interesting mm-hmm. like vibe. Yeah, I yeah. feel like he didn't, he never done a song with a girl before. and uh, Yeah, exactly. Because he does like more trap yeah. and... Yeah. street songs exactly. and then on that song you brought something different that's what i was trying to explain is like you brought something different out of him and um and he brought something out of me as well like mm-hmm. the he is so um raw and rough i really mm-hmm. like that and while i'm more like of uh i don't even know like it was a good match darkness and the yeah, yeah. toughness it's that's the one thing i love about milan is getting being able to meet everybody in one day, like, oh, yeah, the music industry <laughs> in Italy is literally like this. Small. Like, you can meet everybody oh, yeah. in a in a weekend, and yeah. you know yeah. when I went, I happened to be like um, fashion weekend, so I everybody met him, I met yeah, everybody. I know. I, you know, like even we bumped into you, and then we went to Milan, and yeah. then, so hey, it's it's a small scene. It's a small scene, but do you think that makes it easier or more difficult? Well, to work for in. girls, like, um, we're like five. Yeah, well, there's literally a couple. Yeah, so yeah we're really, really, but really you're, a few. But you're, I think, out of all the girls, voice for singing, you're the most talented. Thank you. I'll say that on the record. Because I start as a singer, exactly. basically, but apparently I can rap really well. So yeah, I'm, why not? It's, it's a good, it's a really good, no, you'll hear. Yeah, I've Okay, I'm looking of, forward to it. Yeah, yeah, me too. And um, it's like I'm a real I'm a real singer, and I'm especially I'm a real writer. I, um, it's really mm, unique to be a songwriter uh, in pop music in Italy. A lot of amazing, talented girls they they write songs with a lot of authors, mm-hmm. and and uh, to me it's it's different wha- when you really put your all yourself into into that like i direct my videos or like edit them and i i'm really really involved in every little piece of what i want to communicate full creative control yeah and that that makes me would you ever or have you ever wrote a song and like had someone else do it like ghostwrite song no i oh yeah did you regret any of them like this should have been mine this is what songwriters sometimes not because 
for me, I write in a different way. Like I, I write sometimes specifically for others. Oh, diff- okay. But I enter in their vision, and I would never use a sentence uh, that I that that, you that, would I, say. that is Rose villain. Like I, when I write for me, it's for me. Like it happened that they, they once wanted a song of mine, but I was I was like, no, no, no this is mine. mine. This yeah, is mine. I don't care. Like if because I'm mean, even working with your husband. I'm sure when he's making certain beats. You say this would be perfect oh, for yeah. this guy, yeah. And then you kind of like send it with a hook, you know. Well, so, sometimes uh, he's he's he makes amazing, perfect for me beats for others, and I'm like, you can't give that to him. So like, how, yeah, so that. is that how is it like a discussion? Like okay, that one take it out <laughs> like, of the. Oh, I'll make a chorus on it, and <laughs> so that's mine too. But that's the best way I think to do it too, because you kind of like hand it over on a silver plate like this is how we see the record well actually and that's why you guys work so well together you know Goodfellas the song with Fabri Fibra they mm, will is, he's from his latest album it's a really cool song uh, about of course Goodfellas movie of course yeah I gotta, ch- I gotta check it out and he made that beat and it was supposed to be for someone else but I liked it so much I was like if, if you wanna send that to that rapper please let me try and make a chorus and see if he get and Fabri loved that Love it. see yes. but that's that's the best way to do I it I stole it though <laughs> Oh, you stole it? Oh, yeah. Um, but let's talk a little bit about what's next for you. Because when I saw you in Napoli, you came out for the Red Bull show yeah. and you killed Super it. Good, thank the you. reaction when you came out was amazing. I lo- yeah, I, I love being on stage. Uh, there's nothing better for me. Mm-hmm. Especially after all these years and now, you know, getting back to it. I think even for everybody I saw in Italy, too, you know, I met. I pretty much met everybody during the pandemic and now everybody's performing again. Oh yeah. So seeing everybody perform and how much joy it brings, like it's really good to see, you know? Unbelievable. Yeah. It's great. And, um, like I said, the reaction was great. And when I saw you you're like, <laughs> Oh, we're going to do this podcast. Yeah. What I want to know what's next. So I'm writing like crazy cause I can't stop writing songs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, there is a, big project coming out Mm -hmm. of mine that I'm so like I've been dreaming of this moment for years and could we at least know what language it's gonna be in Uh, Italian Italian Italian, okay because when I saw you said we were gonna do a little more English stuff too I wanna really not not close the circle but kind of close the circle of the Italian music songwriting and just have like that Italian thing and then like that that most important album yeah Okay. It has to be Italian for me. Like uh-huh. it has to be the the crown of the thing that everything I'm doing right now and the effort and like everything I've been doing. But I have a lot of songs in in English and I for sure next year I plan after like we release this, I really plan on also because I it's such a it's such a gift to be able to like write another language mm-hmm. and I don't sound Italian at all when I when I sing in English. No, so you don't. <laughs> I, I heard some of your work. I was like, this is crazy. So I cannot like, like my, I feel like my music, like if you have the opportunity of like uh, other people can check it out and listen mm-hmm. and understand. That's I, the thing with English is that it could go so crazy could, on... Could go in India. Yeah. Go like... Uh, EDM, you know, like it's yeah. a whole different genre. Exactly. And so for sure I plan to release also some English. I'm looking for it. We're, <laughs> we're all rooting for you. Yeah. And I'm glad you came here and you, you said, uh, you know, you wanted to be on the show. And I'm happy to have you on. Andy's going to come too. on soon too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to talk to you a little bit about being an Italian vegan. Oh, oh Shit. We oh. you we started this podcast and she said the most important <laughs> thing is family and food. Oh, I know. And now, how, vegan did, how did you become and a family? Vegan? So actually it started because for it, it was more of a health approach. Okay. Like I st- I wrote I actually read this book called How Not to Die. How Not to Die. How Not to Die, which is like a medical book about uh-huh. nutrition. And I was interested because in my family there is a lot of cancer, so I was like that's that's very true. In Italy, I feel there's more cancer than America. It's, like for it's the percentage, very polluted. Italy is a very polluted country, and like not of course on the beach, like on like Naples. I don't think is like because New York, mm-hmm. New York is not as polluted as you would think. Well, I think polluted in the air, we're more. Wait, if you go to me, like if you see Milan, the mm-hmm. air 
you can smell like it's thicker and it's like it's always foggy in Milan oh, yeah, too. Yeah, that's our thing. Yeah, We're like foggy. Because <laughs> like I was driving when I was so foggy. Oh, this is normal. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, no, this that's, is crazy. That's 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 the thing. Like, in fact, the rest of Italy mocks mm -hmm. Mil Milanese, saying, "Oh, the fog, the foggy one, yeah, the yeah, fog, yeah, the yeah, fogged yeah. up." <laughs> <laughs> no, so. I don't know if you ever saw the movie, not the show Gamora, but there was a movie Gamora. Yeah, no. And I in haven't. the movie, they show like how, um, like toxins, like the mob would like take money to dig toxins and dirt, I and know. then people in the town, like fifty percent of the town, would get cancer because everybody was eating yeah. the crops. Yeah, that's so it's it's not like that. I mean, uh, I feel like. I feel that pollution for sure, but nutrition, I th I feel that can really help you not get some certain kind of illness, mm -hmm. especially if you if you have like a family history of that. Like if you watch that, you can you can really prevent uh, some illnesses. And it started with that. The and this was how many years ago? Just to it put was, in perspective. Uh, no, it was uh, four or five years. We've we've been we've been vegan for just like. A year and a half or two. Now, vegan, no eggs. No eggs. No eggs. cheese. No. Nothing. Okay, pure. it happens sometimes. Once in a while, yeah. Yeah, once in a while. Because I was trying to make her a panino, and she's like, send me the fried egg pie. And I was like, there's egg on that. I, just want, I don't know if I should tell her. Okay, don't like, tell me. Like, if it's me. one of those things, know. like, <laughs> by the way, know. you know, like. I don't want to know. Some things, like, it happens, like, for. Because that's. Egg is the hardest because it's always, like, snuck in yeah, certain things. But if they're in the U.S., especially, they're many many products that can easily substitute like cheese eggs and meat that mm -hmm. like there is the uh, egg it was just egg mm -hmm. have you tried it it's like in the carton it's like yeah it's, yeah it's a carton it's yeah, like, yeah it's like eggs i never i don't know if i've ever tried it you should it's, like like it's fun to explore you, we gotta like do like a food tour of all vegan yeah. your favorite <laughs> vegan dishes like a day of yeah. eating oh yeah you know? i eat what, what do you eat in it like what's your morning I eat breakfast uh, breakfast because okay no so i try to so i feel that nutrition can really help with illnesses in general so now when i eat i see food as like a medicine kind of so mm -hmm. i try to pack nutritions in every mm -hmm. like dish so you get your protein your yeah. vegetables yeah exactly but i eat pizza i eat burgers vegan and pizza fry. yeah but i it's like if you do like a real amazing sauce with an amazing like a bread and then you put it on top like broccoli rabe and garlic mm. and onion yeah, you get and, some yeah and even like vegan sausage like you can actually you don't need mm -hmm. like i mean i don't so you love pizza oh yeah pizza is the shit pizza's your go-to yeah and even before going vegan i was vegetarian for like three or four years and pizza was like ah. what about pasta you rather pizza than pasta i love pasta but no i'm a pizza girl pizza true and true yeah like it's my like if I were like condemned like my like on a gu gu like um death row mm -hmm. for sure pizza I would pizza pizza what style though I would fuck it like if it was my last day I would eat with a shitload of burrata and <laughs> buffalo mozzarella <laughs> if I'm going out I'm going out oh, in yeah. style no but I was saying because there's so many pizza styles you have pizza romana Napolitan mm -hmm. and New York style mm -hmm. and being that you lived in New York ten years do you still Look for the Italian style. Or are you like? Are you accustomed to the New York no, style? I am accustomed. To, like there are some. I like Sicilian. Oh, style. like corners. Yeah, corners, a okay. lot like crunchy corners. That's like, like Romano too, though, right? Because you know, like Taglio pizza. Yeah, yeah. Because that's like a big thing. Yeah, like in, in some Rome. places, yeah, 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 and yeah, even yeah, here, sure. like you, you don't see people cut it with the scissor here, but yeah, I feel but like, yeah, we have like there are the yeah, exactly. round thing. Yeah. So you rather a square? Yeah, I think I, I would. Like for example, artichoke, like my to go artichoke like pizza. Artichoke the, pizza, yeah. I would get always the Sicilian. Even like the Prince Pizza, I would get the Sicilian instead. Of with the those sugar. are our friends that own Prince. I got, oh, yeah? I got connect you. I, yeah, love, yeah. I love Prince. They yeah. have to make me a vegan fucking slice. Do they? Do they have vegan slices no. there? No, they not don't. Yet, right? Not yet. Because they um they have like a little sign there that says. Don't ask for this sauce, like barbecue, ketchup, like so. I'm yeah, like, no, that, that wouldn't be a with. vegan place for me. No, 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 I would be scared of ask. Sorry, can you? <laughs> Excuse me, can you not just? I'll just do, shut my mouth. We're gonna talk to Dom, and I'll, I'll set it cool. up for you. Uh, what are three things that are better in America than Italy? Three things. Mm, I feel community sense for sure. Really? Yeah. Here it's, I mean, New I York. Did, I did not see that. 
No. Really? Community? Like, not, I, for example, if I'm in the middle of the street and I scream because I've been, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm mugged or or something else. You think New York would help more than Italy? A hundred percent. Like, if I, I, like, I see it all the time, people helping yeah. other people. Or, or if I ask for directions, people, like, actually, like, get take my hand and bring, they're very oh, really? nice. They're so kind. They're I nice. just think the internet works better here. Maybe that's why. Oh, yeah. Because you could <laughs> look it up on Google. Right. No, <laughs> like, no. But, okay, no, so is, community was number two. But this is the two. thing that all Italians, all my friends that come here and my family, they always tell me it's unbelievable how kind and they are. And I know New Yorkers. I don't know. I feel like because New York has a bad rep for that. Like, let's say I'm walking know. down the street in Soho. I'm like, "Ciao, good morning." They just walk no, past you. No, no, no. In Italy, it's like "Ciao, buongiorno." Come no, stop, no, 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 no. Maybe not. I mean, I'm comparing to Milan. Milan to New York Milan, City. Milan, they're like Paris. They're kind of snobby. Like, mm. Yeah, they're like, "Who the fuck is he talking?" About? And they like look at you, like they judge you so much in Milan, mm-hmm. in New York, and like you, I can literally go out in a pajama with my blue hair and I don't know my a skeleton draw my face. Nobody would even like. Yeah. Glance at but me. that's true. Okay. In Milan, I, see, I like, see why you said that. Okay. Yeah. So community one. What's two? Mm, well, I love. Okay, I can't. I, I'm gonna be like they're gonna hate me for this, but I eat so well. Like restaurants here to me. You're gonna say food. I'm gonna say restaurants. Okay. You know. <laughs> you know what? You know why I think you're gonna say this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think New York caters more to vegan. Yeah, but oh, I, I I wasn't vegan before, and so I, even before you say, uh, I'm yeah because here you can find the best Indian restaurant, the best Asian okay, restaurant. Yeah, like yeah, you're you right. have all kinds of like the best, like a, one of the best pizzas in, I have ever had is in is in New York. Is it Sanganapule? Oh, shout out to Chiro. That's our paisan. Yeah. Chiro. Chiro. We need a free pizza now. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> we're plugging them in. You know that actually we were. During, I don't know, I remember if it was the pandemic or it was a storm, and the Chiro just ring, rang our bell and brought us pizza, like free He's pizza. He's amazing. Just out of his, like, heart, he just wanted to do something. For anybody that hasn't friend. been there, it's literally, like, a hole in the wall, and it has Maradona all over, <laughs> Napoli jerseys. Yeah, yeah. And I said it's my, one of my, the best Napoli pizza in New York. Oh, definitely, for sure. So I have that, mm-hmm. and I have best Japanese food I've ever had and then there is 11 Madison which is the number one vegan restaurant in the world and but if you like Mexican food is fucking like if you ever yeah, tried yeah we have more variety here and, and that's is key to like the world you know when I went to Milan I had sushi and they put zucchini in it Ooh. I was like what this is uh, but have <sighs> you ever had Mexican in Italy no there was actually a place that we were staying like in Asago and I was like we got to try it. It no. was like, a ma- I'm like, no, let's not no, do it. Let's not it's do it. not. Ma- I mean, avocados are really, I feel like they're really bad. I mean, it's, in Sicily, you can find good avocados, but like the avocado you buy at the supermarket doesn't mm-hmm. taste like an avocado like here. Yeah. So we have, of course. Because we, we're close to Mexico too. Yeah, and like three hours. Yeah. There it's hard. So what I, would you put number three? Well, I mean, the U.S. have New York. I feel like there's not, there's not a prettier and more the energy that it, like the New York energy. Like mm-hmm. when I like that's why I can't. I suffer when I go to Italy for too long because I miss this vibe, the vibrations mm-hmm. of the people. Mm-hmm. They're they're it's unbelievable. New York definitely wins in skyscrapers. Oh fuck yeah! Well, we because <laughs> in Milan you just see that one building yeah, with all with the, the trees. Yeah. And then they have like one big building yeah. that they were like, this is the biggest one. I'm like, yeah, yeah no, this. we're not the buildings. <laughs> the it's, country. It's, you know, more yeah, for we have castles, you know? we the have Duomo. Ca- yeah. We have Duomo. like a rotten, like coliseums. <laughs> yeah. So we went in the skyscrapers for sure. And I think when I see the skyscrapers, even driving by Brooklyn, you see the, the skyline. It's oh something that motivates me. I, I like, I have a rush of adrenaline every time I see the skyline, especially when I get a cab from JFK to coming back to the city. And like, for example, this, this summer we were away for two months or mm-hmm. three months for mm-hmm. the Italian tour. And I miss New York so much. I, I need also because here there's my home, like my apartment, my things. So when I'm away, I miss like my of friends course. are here. Also. There's nothing like sleeping in your own, yeah. uh, in your own apartment, in your own place, yes. your own bed. Just not the same. Yeah. Like you don't know what to expect when you exactly. go somewhere else. 
And when when I and when I saw the skyline from the cab, I cried like I'm a like when a you baby. landed. Yeah. <laughs> Did I, you kiss the ground when you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your dream collab? If you could work with one artist. Oh shit. Anybody, anybody in the world. It could be English, Italian. What's your dream collab? Probably Jay Z. Ooh, I could see that. That would be. I, I, that would be my dream collab for you okay. too. Okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's one's gonna make you the most when money we, for when, sure too. When we go to bed, let's pray together. Yeah. yeah we'll go, Andy, we're gonna all we're gonna hold hands <laughs> after this and. Exactly. I was a huge. I was. I gotta say because now I'm fr- uh, a huge fan of Kanye. Okay. I would like it musically. Yeah. He's I, yeah, he's I a love, genius. He's genius. I love you might it. say a crazy thing or two, but yeah, nobody's you, gonna question his music genius. No, I can't. Yeah. Um. But yeah, right now. But you now, know. yeah, wouldn't be my dream. Yeah, exactly. For sure, right so, now. <laughs> all right, so we just kicked Kanye out. Yeah. He's out of our dreams. So and let's get Jay Z. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is the Growing Up Italian show. Mm-hmm. We have a little segment called Overrated, Underrated, Perfectly Rated. Okay. And since pizza is your favorite food, I'm gonna ask you. Overrated, underrated, perfectly rated. Okay. New York style pizza. Underrated. Okay. I did not expect that. Okay. Why is that? Because there are some really good New York style pizzas, I believe. Like some slices, uh, they can, you can, you really eat it. Because I feel when when you eat pizza, you shouldn't be like, like I'm going to eat pizza. (laughs) Like uh, you you have to eat it and like smother it all over your face. The difference between New York and Milano, I would say, when you see like a New Yorker eating a pizza, you're like, yeah. Like in the middle of the street yeah. while, while walking, yeah. oil dripping. And then Milano's like with a fork and a knife, right? you know? exactly. And also, you're eating it in the street with a view. So it's... So it under- tastes better. Uh, yeah. It's, it's under- the air. Underrated for sure. <laughs> <It's> the- <laughs> All right. Napoli style. Perfectly rated. Okay. So why is it perfectly rated? Because they say it's one of the best pizzas in the world. That, that is like the most authentic, I believe. So, mm. and it's true. Do you think it's the best? Well, I really like uh, I really like kind of crunchier pizza. So when you order pizza, you say "well done," ben cotto? No, I not even. No, 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 no. You don't. I would never say that. No, to, like in Naples to. Like, Why they get mad? I mean, I w- would. In, you, I wouldn't like change things. So like, if they make <laughs> it like that, like yeah, I wouldn't like. Well, for example, my father always asks for oregano on the on the margarita. And he would never be able, like, don't ask that in Naples. Don't well, you're not supposed it. to? No, not in Naples. <laughs> like dried oregano? Yeah, I love oregano. Because I, I know one thing in Naples, they don't have, over here, you know, you go inside, they have garlic powder, oregano, crushed garlic red pepper. Powder? You don't yeah. see that. In, no, you don't. Like, how we make it is how you eat it. But I tried it once. I think it was a Ruby Rosa. Have you oh, Ruby Rosa? Oh, yeah, yeah, Ruby Rose, yeah. It's a nice, a nice, like, vodka sauce yeah, pizza, yeah. like a strange, okay, and I would never eat pineapple. That is on pizza. shit, that's shit. Too. Yeah, okay. And At least we're on the same page with okay. that, too. <laughs> but I tried once to put garlic powder, Pearl, I was like, let's do the, like, how they do yeah, it. Yeah, the American style. It's kind of good, actually. You like that? Yeah. It right. gives it a little pizzazz, you know, yeah. a little a little sprinkle. Yeah. All right, the last one, mm-hmm. Roman style. Uh overrated overrated okay i mean i i like it but it maybe is a solid because they always make it very gourmet they add mm-hmm. like for example bonchi is the most famous uh, What's that? roman it's like they make kind of squares gourmet with a shit ton of ingredients on top like mm-hmm. so you would eat like with a burrata on top. you know a regular pizza here they're italian yeah Oh, un- unregular. Unregular. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, I was just there. They barter during the Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but love, that's how they got really yeah, popular. And I I bet, s- bet, you bet, like that pizza? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's good. really good. So that's Roman style. Like, that's, that's Roman particular style. Roman style. Yeah, that's Roman style. It's, well, as a vegan, it's, it's, yeah, I would say that is the one that's overrated. You definitely sneak burrata once in a while. Oh, sometimes. I could, because, because they, they're known for like having the whole burrata yeah. on one slice. No, I, no, I will tell you this. This is a cra- crazy story. So I was, I think it was in Naples after the Red Bull concert. I know I ended up with like, I don't know, rappers, I guess. Mm-hmm. And people starting like, like an after party and people start like doing drugs and stuff and people starting to like buy, like it was like, okay, I'm going to call this for this drug, this for, and, and I was like, okay, I, you, you, you order don't burrata? really do, I order a burrata. I was like, that's my really, how I really go. F- food is a drug though. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was like, they're like, they can make good at a hospital and I'm just going to like get a little 
batter and whatever. <laughs> Listen, if that's your guilty pleasure that you have a burrata once, once a, a year, once every like year, what a, yeah, once a year, I'll say once a month. I was, no, actually, it was buffalo, buffalo. It Would you rather Naples. burrata or buffalo mozzarella? Buffalo. For me too. Buffalo is the shit. Before we flew back from Naples to Milano, I was with uh, my cousin's dad, and um, there's this little town by where we're from, Eboli, and they're known okay. for having the best buffalo mozzarella. <gasps> So before the pandemic, we used to always go and get like the bocconcini. So to, before the fire, I'm like, let's stop over there. Let's get some bocconcini. So they don't make the bocconcini anymore. They make like, like menzo kilo. <laughs> like, so I was like, let's get three. So we were yeah. eating it like this in the middle of the street. And my friend there, little pig was like, bro, this is crazy. Because like when you squeeze the, the mozzarella, like milk goes everywhere. Yeah, but how... Delicious. It was the best. I, I've never had like also also I got it because I was in Naples because I don't like when like for example in you, it's very authentic and you maybe doesn't come from a big farm. I, I that's because from as I become a vegan, first it was this health thing, but then the ethical and like uh, environment part really took over. Mm -hmm. And I know that like if you're in Naples, it, it's gonna probably be a farm. I mean, you hope it's that. So I was like. Mm -hmm. Do you feel different now you changed the diet? Changed my life. Like, uh, it's really amazing. Before we end this podcast, yeah. look into that camera and tell someone in 30 seconds why they should be vegan. Okay. First off, you should be vegan because it's the best thing you can do for the environment because the uh, animal farming is the most uh, polluting thing in the world. So for our planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Second, for the animals because they suffer enormous cruelty and like useless things and now there are so many other options that you can they're as delicious as the meats and cheeses and for your health because a cholesterol like a vegan diet is a cholesterol free and uh, you're less likely to get ill more vegetables more life Exactly. The Growing Up Italian podcast. Say, you're saying that and it's, I'm blowing my <laughs> Listen, mind. Listen, <laughs> I think about it all the time when I see like me, I'm like, this is disgusting. I never like stopped eating it, but it's definitely not the best for you. You know, it definitely wouldn't hurt to put a little more broccoli instead of chicken, yeah. you know? And, and that there are some vegetables that taste fucking amazing, like eggplants, mushrooms. I, I make mushrooms that taste exactly like meat. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna test it out. Oh, yeah. We're gonna do three plates of, by Rose Villain that taste oh, yeah. better than me. I'm gonna surprise you. We're gonna put your um, Instagram in the description. Make sure to Thank follow you. her. New music on the way. Thank and you. Andy's gonna be next on this oh, show. Oh, my God. Yay. <laughs> Excited. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, I'm